How's it going guys? Here's a few exercises I incorporate into my shoulder and hamstrings workout. I hope you enjoy the video. Starting off with military press supersetted with lateral raises as a warm up. It really gets the whole shoulder warmed up and the joints is ready for a solid workout. You can really benefit from doing this at the start of your workout to pre-exhaust your delts and get a great pump and burn from them. We then move on to the good old Arnold presses. These really isolate the shoulders from all angles and are great for adding size to your delts and again gives you that awesome pump. I'd recommend starting off light if you haven't tried these before as it can be quite tricky to get the movement right and, and to get good form. Work your way up in weight and keep the same form and you'll have those bolder shoulders in no time. Next on the agenda is bent over reverse flies or whatever you want to call them. Some people call them seated lateral raises but I find the former name more appropriate. The good thing about this workout is you don't need a lot of weight to get the benefits from it. It's a solid exercise and in my opinion should be in everybody's routine. We then move on to the machine shoulder press. It's important you add a compound lift to your shoulder workout to really add size and strength. The heavier the better for me on this exercise. Obviously people are different so do what suits you. If you want those big front delts this is the exercise you need to be doing. Cable lateral raises next. We use three movements in this exercise, all shown in the video. The first is a standard overhand grip, the second is with a back turn to the weight with an overhand grip. This just isolates the shoulders in a slightly different position. And the third and final one is the underhand grip, which targets the front delts and is great for when controlling the negative. No shoulder routine is complete without some shrugs. We do them on the barbell just out of personal preference but you can also use dumbbells. Make sure you squeeze every single rep up and isolate the traps. Good form is essential on this lift set to maximise growth so make sure you have that before you even attempting heavier weight.
Finally, we're on to reverse machine flies. This is a great finisher for the shoulders and allows you to utilise the drop sets to really get a good burn. I do this exercise with my palms facing outwards on the grip, but that's just because I feel it gives me a better contraction. Again, it's all down to personal preference. On to hamstrings with the seated hamstring curls. I like to lean over the grips and really squeeze round as if I was doing a bicep curl with my hamstrings. But remember, always keep your feet parallel as well to avoid injuries. On to the line hamstring curls now to follow the seated and as a finisher we hit this with 20 rep set of 5 slow, 5 fast, 5 slow and 5 fast reps, controlling the negative and squeezing up with the positive. Again it's, cru it's crucial to keep your feet as parallel as you can. Ask for a spot if you want sure. These are just some examples of what exercise I use in my shoulder and hamstring workouts. By no means am I saying I'm a personal trainer or anything like that because I'm not. I'm just trying to give you some helpful advice and hopefully help out with people that, with their training. If you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like rating and subscribe to see more like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.